solar power to charge your action camera. How cool is this? Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to unbox and review the Activan Solar XG action camera with the solar station. Yes, you can charge your camera with solar panels. So let's have a look at the box before we open it. So the box doesn't have much on the sides as you can see, but if we look at the back, what's included is the camera, the, char the solar charging station, the waterproof uh, housing, the opened back door, there is a connecting screw, a short connector, a curved uh, uh, adhesive mount, I hope there is also a flat one because a flat is also useful. The battery and a USB cable. And in terms of features, we have of course camera plus a solar charger. There is a quick charge. Uh, they say you can charge 70% of the battery in uh, 30 minutes. Here you have four fields of view options for FOVs. And for those of you who have seen my uh, Aiken H6S review. I kind of missed that in the uh, Aiken. The Aiken doesn't have that. So it's nice that the Activan has that. It's also a touch screen display in the back. It's a, a two inch uh, in diagonal. It does a time lapse. And also you can have an app on your phone and see a preview on your phone. And what we have here is two inch uh, touch screen, Wi Fi. DIS is a uh, digital image stabilization. Some people call it electronic image stabilization. So it is not optical, but it's nice to have this feature. 16 megapixels, uh, f2.4. It's a wide angle lens. Waterproof with the uh, casing. Live view on your cell phone, HDMI output, and of course the uh, solar panel. So this is very uh, exciting to be able to charge uh, your camera using a uh, solar panel. So let's open the box and see what's inside. Okay, so I cut the tape on the side and the one thing I did not mention, this is a 1080p uh, camera at the 60 frames per second. It doesn't say anything on the package. Uh, even in the back, it doesn't say so. No, I'm checking right now. No, there's nothing. So this is not a 4K camera. It's 1080p. So let's uh, open this thing. So we have here, this is the solar panel. We're going to look at that in a few seconds. This is very tight packaging. And I guess if I just push, yeah, push in the back. This is the camera in the casing. We'll look at that also in a few seconds. And by the way, the packaging is very nice. Look at the nice cut in the styrofoam uh, pad here. Very, very nice packaging. Here in the box we have, looks like a pouch, yeah, a little uh, pouch, put this here, and yeah, all the accessories that we saw on the, on the back of the box, the uh, attachment, the curved plate, and I can see that there is no flat plate, unfortunately, the uh, USB cable, the, uh, the knob, the plate with the open back so if you want to access your, the menus we can use this but obviously when you do the casing is not waterproof i think although yeah it may still be there is a seal all around it here we'll look at that more and we have here two little one booklet one user manual in english and in french and in spanish and uh, a quick guide here yeah it's a quick guide so I'm going to look at that uh, quickly here to give you uh, the features of this uh, camera before I do so I just want to show you the uh, camera itself just open the casing et voila well my first impression right now build quality is excellent uh, it's very nice finish there is even here a screw for a tripod mount, uh, mount which the Eken doesn't have. 
And actually, I have the Eken here, if we can compare the size. The size is almost identical, as you can see. But I would say the build quality of the active on is better. And this is my uh, GoPro uh, Hero 5 session. So you can see here the difference in, uh, in size between the two. So very nice build quality. Um, HDMI and uh, here a micro USB port. The uh, micro SD card battery is here. And like I said, there is a, a mount for a, a tripod. And the um, solar system here, an arrow says to spin to the right. So this one here goes to the right. This one here says spin to the left. So we just open it like this. So we have one, two, three. This is a panel also. It looks like a solar panel. And I'm going to explain more about this uh, function here when I come back in a few seconds. Like I said, I want to look at the manual first and give you some more uh, detailed information on uh, this uh, camera. I have looked at the manual and honestly, this is a very nice manual. There is a section here on the solar station, as you can see. Uh, a complete section on the camera itself and especially how to use the menus because this is a touch screen and there is a lot of things you can do with the menus in the back as we will see right now. So to turn the camera on we press the shutter button for two seconds and here we go here. So to access the menus, you have the touch screen or the two buttons at the top. So for example, if you press this one, you are in video mode, photo mode, playback mode, and then your settings. And then you go back, of course, to video mode. So you need to have these uh, access here so that when the camera is inside the casing, you can access those menus over here. So by the way, I want to comment that this is a very nice casing. It's like very well built. And uh, as you can see here with the, re with the reflection, the screen here is flat, unlike many that are rounded. So I think you'll have less distortion with a flat uh, screen like this. So let's put this on the side. Let's have a look at the uh, camera again here. So the menu access through the touch screen, as you can see here, are through three arrows. There is one on the left, one on the bottom, one on the right. So if you click on the one at the bottom, that gives you a shortcut access to your Wi-Fi, upside down if you want to reverse your video, quick record, mic, uh, mic microphone, speaker, and your beeps if you want the menu to beep. And then here on the left, you have your different scene modes. So by clicking uh, over, I guess, any place on the screen, yes, uh, the bottom arrow. So you have access to the water uh, mode, riding, uh, winter, uh, night mode, and diving. And manual is simply a manual mode. So here on the right side, you have quick access to photo mode. So now we are in photo mode, as you can see here in the upper left corner. And let's go back to our video mode. That's it here. You can go to your uh, setup over here. And then you have your Wi-Fi to connect to your, uh, to your cell phone with the app. And you have general settings like the date and time. You have effects. You have the zoom. You have filter. You have your AE meter. You have your white balance, exposure, ISO. So it's all there. This is very good. In the video settings, you have manual mode. Here you can have looping, auto stop, time lapse. In your resolution, like I said before, this is a 1080p camera, not a 4K camera. So you have 60 FPS, 30. You can shoot at 720p at 120 FPS and you can also shoot at 480p at 240 FPS which is good for slow motion. You have the field of view which is very cool. So you can modify the field of view in this camera. You have super wide, wide, medium and I think yeah narrow. So field of view, uh, video quality, digital image stabilization is off by default. We'll turn this on. 
and then we are back here and then back there and then out of the menu over here so my fingers are big there you go so very nice and very easy access uh, like you saw so I like this uh, this menu a lot and I find it very very easy to navigate one thing I forgot to show is the weight of the camera this is something I like to uh, measure all the time so let's switch this on and we are now in grams so let's see here 85 grams and if I go to ounces it is 3 ounces so let's just double check that here yes so 3 ounces or 85 grams now let's have a look at the solar station the manual is also quite good in covering uh, how it operates and here on this page you can see the lights and how much charge they represent so let's have a look at that uh, station so like we saw before you open it like this by sliding the two panels so you have three panels and this is an intelligent pack so if you press on the button it gives you how much charge there is left so this is basically a power bank and it's a big one the capacity is 5600 milliamp per hour so it's a big one so if you don't have a sunny day and you need to charge this it's a standard power bank right so you use the cable that came with the camera you plug it in the power pack and the light indicates that it is charging now if you need to uh, charge your camera you just reverse the cable use the USB cable over here take your uh, camera and plug the cable over here so as you can see it is charging and here you see how much power there is left on the power bank now since this is like a basically a standard power pack you can use it to charge any device so for example if I use here my micro USB cable for my phone and I have my phone over here so plug my phone turn my phone on and you will see that it is charging but be careful here the pack also has to be on it does not turn on all the time for example if it's off the phone will not charge as you can see here or your tablet will not charge so sometimes it will turn on uh, automatically sometimes it doesn't I am not totally sure why like right now it is working but when I tried it earlier today I had to press manually on the button here so just be careful that this is the light here is on meaning that you have power in the output light so this is very nice you can use this as a power bank you can charge it in in the Sun like if you're camping or if you are on an expedition you can charge this in the Sun this is very cool so when it is sunny outside I'm going to take this outside and uh, we'll see if we can take some measurements on the uh, charging time as we can see now if I press the power button we have uh, two LEDs that are lit so let's put the uh, solar station in the Sun so we now have our solar station in the Sun as you can see here with the shade of the station the Sun is low on the horizon simply because it's the winter now in Canada and I think the Sun is like 3 degrees only above the horizon we're far from the 90 degrees at the zenith but uh, we're still getting a lot of uh, energy uh, like the table is is warm and the manual says that the front LED here turns off after two seconds of blinking which I didn't see it's hard to see because the Sun is shining right on that button would be nice to have a button in the back maybe in the shade where you would see if it's blinking uh, slowly for example if it is uh, charging but that's not the case so we'll leave the station here for an hour or two and we will see if we get more than the two LEDs that we saw before we started to charge
Finally, after several days of bad weather, I was able to go outside. So I have the sun behind me, but the storm just went by. So we have a black sky over snow, which gives an interesting landscape. So I'm testing all the four FOVs. My final thoughts on the Activon Solar XG. If you get this on sale, I think it's a great uh, purchase. I'm not sure I would pay the regular price, but I got this, the, everything that you see on the table, I got this for $75, which is a good deal in my opinion, because I'm going to use the solar panel a lot when I'm outside, like in the country, and I'm going to use it probably more to charge my cell phones and my tablets. For the camera, as you saw, the footage is a bit disappointing uh, in the narrow and medium field of view. It is kind of acceptable in the wide and super wide. I would say not at par with uh, GoPro, but you're getting this whole thing here for a third of the cost of a GoPro. So uh, I'm still happy with my purchase. I'm going to use this as a, um, as a camera for my uh, robots uh, video. I like to have uh, different angles of view. And um, yeah, so this is it. If you have any questions, uh, you know, post them down below. I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. And I wish you a great day. And thank you for watching. Goodbye, guys.